In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to work the moss stitch in crochet. Uh, this is what it looks like, the final product. It's a super simple stitch. It's great for beginners, um, but also more advanced crocheters alike. Gives you this really nice, nice texture, and you can use it in all kinds of projects. So, without further ado, let's get started. To work the moss stitch in this video, I'll be using a 6.5 millimeter hook or size K um, and I'll be using some bulky weight wool yarn that I have on hand but you can use whatever yarn you want or if you're following a pattern you should use whatever yarn the pattern calls for. Okay so I've already gone ahead and worked my slip knot and now I can begin my chain. So to create the moss stitch, you're going to want to have an even number of starting chains. So I'm going to chain 12. All right, I've completed my 12 chains and I'm ready to begin row one. So uh, at the beginning of every row of moss stitch, you're going to go ahead and chain two. So I have chained an extra two. So uh, to create the moss stitch, you're basically going to skip one stitch, then single crochet into the next stitch. So I'm going to skip this last chain that we chained of our original 12 right here. Um, and remember, these two additional chains is to begin our row. So I'm skipping this um, chain, and I'm going to work into this next chain. So I'm going to work my first single crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So I'll just work one single crochet into here. And I've just done the first single crochet of my row. And now I can continue working in moss stitch, which is basically we will chain one. I'll skip the next chain here and I'll work a single crochet into this following chain. So I've chained one already, I'm skipping this chain, and now I can work my single crochet here. So let's do that again. I'm going to go ahead, chain one, skip the next chain, and I can work my next single crochet into this following chain. And that's all I'm going to do for row one. Chain one, skip a chain, work my next single crochet into the following chain. Chain one, skip one chain, work into the following chain all the way until the end. And if you've done this correctly, you should end um, with a single crochet in that last chain. So working my last single crochet there. And I've just completed row one of my moss stitch. So I've placed, if we can count, I should have six single crochets. So let's see, one, two, three, four five, six. So I place six single crochets um, along my row and to count these stitches um, I have 12 stitches so I have six single crochets and I have six chain one spaces right so I have single crochet chain one space single crochet chain one space single crochet chain one space all the way down I should have 12 stitches in total so that's row one. To begin row two, we're going to go ahead and chain two, one, two, and turn our work. So now, obviously, we won't be working into chains anymore like we did for row one, but we're going to be working into um, our second, our first row that we just created. So we've just chained two, and if you can look closely here, you can see that this is actually the single crochet that we just completed at the end of row one, right? This is our single crochet, so we're actually going to go ahead and skip this first single crochet and we're going to work our first single crochet of row two into this space created by the chain one that we did in the previous row. So it's a little tricky to see at first, but it definitely helps if you pull apart your yarn and you can see there's this little gap right here. So I'm going to work my first single crochet into that space, single crochet. And I've just completed my first single crochet of the row. I can continue by chaining one. 
I'll skip the next stitch, which is again a single crochet. So I'll skip this single crochet and I'll work my next single crochet into the gap created by this chain one space. So I'm going to single crochet in there. And that's basically all that moss stitch is, is we're just chaining one, skipping the next stitch, which is always a single crochet, and we're going to work our next single crochet into that gap created by the chain one space. Chain one, skip the next stitch, which is a single crochet, work my single crochet into that gap created by the chain one space. And I can go ahead and do that all the way until the end of my row chain one so you can see here that this is the the first single crochet of row one and so if you're wondering where to work your last single crochet of row two we're gonna work it between this single crochet and our turning chain of um our first row so right in there i'll work my last single crochet of row two so now if we count, we should have exactly 12 stitches as well because we didn't increase or de decrease. So 12 stitches, that means we have six single crochets. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I should have six chain one spaces. So we can see here, one, two, three, four, five, and don't forget that that chain two um, that we do at the beginning of, of every row and then when we single crochet, that turning chain, our chain two, actually creates um, a chain one space. If you want to think about it this way, the first chain um, is to give us that height for our row. So, for example, when you begin a single crochet row, you always chain one and turn your work. So that's what the first chain of our chain two is. And then our second chain of our chain two is what creates that chain one space here so this chain so this counts as a stitch right here so i have 12 stitches um and again that's basically all that moss stitches is, is repeating row two i'll go ahead and show you row three but i have a feeling you probably get the idea so i'm going to chain two turn my work and I'm going to work my first single crochet of row three in between these two single crochets into this chain one space. So I'm going to insert my hook there and work a single crochet. Now I can chain one, skip the next stitch, single crochet in that chain one space, chain one, skip the next stitch single crochet into the chain one space whoops into the chain one space and just work this all the way across so it's a fairly simple stitch that works up quickly in my opinion at least and again we should always have at least in this way um, 12 stitches because we're not increasing or decreasing in any way so that's how you do the moss stitch just work your single crochets into the chain one spaces and you'll be fine. So I'll go ahead and show you what the final product looks like. I'm going to work a couple more rows um, and I'll show you what it looks like together. All right, so as you can see, I worked a few more rows in moss stitch and this is what it looks like. Um, it gives you a really nice texture, I think, uh, because the single crochets are kind of staggered. So this is what it looks like on one side, and it looks the same on the other side. I hope this video was helpful in helping you learn how to work the moss stitch. Um, it's a super versatile stitch, and you can use it in all kinds of projects. Uh, so yeah, I hope you like this video and let me know what you think.